I'll explain the workings of the LCD driver, the code at the, that I've written for the LCD test application. So, uh, the, however, the intent of this course is not to teach uh, how the 1682 character LCD works or how the code could be written. So I'll just go over, uh, go through the functions used in this uh, code. So first of all, let's uh, look at the uh, LCD send command function. So this takes an unsigned character as an uh, parameter input and then it does not have any return type. So let's go to the LCD send command. First of all, uh, we need to understand why we have uh, written this function. That is because the LCD, uh, the LCD works in a way that uh, first of all it has to be configured with several commands. Commands like to initialize it in the 16 into 2 uh, LCD in the 4 bit mode. So 0x uh, hex value of 0 2 is used to initialize in the 4 bit mode and then uh, to configure it with two lines and then 5 into 8 dots you need to use the hex value of 2, two 8 and then 0c to display on and cursor off into clear display 0 1 so these commands are used to configure the LCD so to send these commands we have the LCD send command function written so accepts uh, an unsigned character as a parameter to uh, in this function so first of all we uh, as discussed in the previous video in 4 bit mode we need to send uh, upper nibble and lower nibble separately first of all uh, so first of all what we do is we receive the command the 8 bit command which we have so to separate it uh, into upper nibble and lower nibble we right shift by 4 bits and then once we right shift by 4 bits we will get the uh, upper nibble and then we mask it we mask the command uh, with 0f so as in 0f we have only the last four bits high so we'll get the lower nibble so by right shifting the command we get the upper nibble and by masking we get the lower nibble so this is how it works so we have uh, upper nibble and lower nibble separately in the xgp or discrete write function uh, we first uh, uh, set ena enable as 0 and then register select as 0 because we know that register select should be 0 for sending command so register select is 0 and enable is also 0 and then once we have done that we uh, we send it to the uh, register select and enable thing and this is uh, this is configured <coughs> in the LCD unit itself so xgpio initialize LCD lines and then we did this before itself in the previous video itself we know that and in in here in this code I have initialized it globally I have declared LCD lines and LCD uh, register select and enable globally because functions will be using it these functions <coughs> then once we have done we have written, written 0 into the LCD lines uh, we need to send the upper nibble so send the upper nibble via the xgpo discrete write function in, uh, put the upper nibble into the LCD lines the four bits and then uh, pull high uh, pull high the enable bit so the enable bit is the first bit so one zero one zero hex value is two one zero is two and then uh, wait for 2000 microseconds so you uh, sleep is microsecond sleep so wait for 2000 microseconds then after that uh, pull down the enable, enable is 0 and the register select is also 0 because you are sending command 0 and then after that send the upper nibble, sorry say, uh, send the lower nibble here, sorry, send the lower nibble, send the lower nibble and then uh, again pull high the enable, enable bit and register select should be 0 then again wait for uh, 2000 <coughs> microseconds, again do the same. Uh, Enable, z enable 0 and register select as 0. So this is how you send the uh, command, uh, send the command to the uh, LCD. The 8 bit command is, is split into upper, upper nibble and lower nibble. Upper nibble sent first, lower nibble sent after that. Uh, in between we have a delay of 2000 microseconds. You are sending upper nibble and lower nibble. Next we have 
a function called lcd write data so pretty much it's going to be the same so here also i forgot to change it so pretty much it's going to be the same only difference is that while sending the 8 bit instead of register select being 0 register select is 1 for sending data apart from that it is ex just exactly the same function instead of command we will be having data shift write data the uh, 4 bits and then again mask it then again the same the exactly the same uh, snippet of code I have written here the only difference being that instead of 0 uh, uh, e uh, enable 0 and register select 0 enable 0 register select is 1 in all the cases that's all then we have one more function called lcd send string so this send string uh, function is uh, used to ease the uh, way of uh, writing code so that we can directly write a string instead of sending character this write data function accepts only unsigned character data so instead of sending uh, character by character we can send a string as a whole so this will just ask to accept a string pointer and then the length of the string and then it will uh, send us character by character into this function that's all nothing much lcd write into lcd write data it will send character by character length, length minus minus that's all nothing much then after that we have one more function called as lcd send number so send number is used to send numbers because here we are sending only strings whereas uh, this function just converts the number into string using the i to a function wherein accepts the number and then converts it into a, a string buffer and then we have the for loop to uh, convert uh, for loop to find the length of the number and then just use the lcd send string function nothing much just the an easy way to write code and then we have the lcd init function in the lcd init function what we do is we initialize the gpios the lcd gpios which we did earlier itself or just put it inside this function that's all nothing much complicated then set the data, data direction and then as i explained before we need to send some initial commands to configure the lcd in 16 into 2 uh, con initially 16 into 2 lcd in 4 bit mode configure in two lines and then find two eight dots so 0 x 2 8 then a display on cursor off then clear display and then or uh, this a0 a0 x 0 6 is for auto increment cursor when you keep sending one one data after the other the cursor uh, increments automatically so that is that is why we send uh, this one that's it then we have the main function in main function what we do is in platform we have before itself so well, we call we first call the lcd init function so that we initialize the uh, gpios and then send the initial command so that we have the lcd ready to send the next commands or data after this once it's done we send the command uh, hex 80 hex 80 places the cursor at home home is nothing but 0 comma 0 so from there we send the lcd in lcd string function we send this string so space is also considered as a character so first hello world and then 16 is the number of characters so we just fill the complete uh, columns so fill all the columns of the lcd and then again uh, 0xc0 will place the cursor at second line that is 1 comma 0 the second row 1 and column 0 then again from micro place this whole 16 characters in length this will go to the lcd send string function wherein we decrement <coughs> the length and send one character after the other so after this we delay for two seconds sleep two seconds and then clear the display and then again uh, place the cursor at home then we display uh, this string time elapsed and then the, the length of the string 16 and then a while one infinite loop we have a count integer count declared here count equal to zero and that count we will increment it in the uh, while loop and then we will send it to uh, we'll send uh, we'll send it to the lcd send number function the count value which will go here and ultimately it will call the lcd st uh, send string function and then we'll pr print lcd send string seconds 
so that so it will show in this LCD display it will show the time elapsed time elapsed so many seconds okay. that's it uh, this is the uh, LCD driver code it's as simple so let's see the implementation of this code so I've connected the PMOD LCD which we designed in the previous videos I have connected it to the PMOD interface of the uh, Vigilant USB 104A7 board it's just powered up and it's on you can see from the LCD display now what I'll do uh, I think the FPGA is already programmed so the next thing to do is program the LCD so the output would be like hello world from microblaze uh, in the first line and second line wait for two seconds then it will show the time elapsed and seconds which will be varying for one second two second three second it, it will be changing number of uh, time elapsed go to the SDK terminal open a com port just to see com9 will open okay com9 program it Start the program. Yes, program started. It's working. This is how it works. I'll just press the reset button once to show you again. Hello world from Microblaze. Wait for two seconds. Then we'll show the time elapsed. Two seconds. Three seconds. So this is how it works. I hope you understood the code. The code will be available in the description you can take a look at the code so yes thanks for watching